and this is why my face is always black. Soot-covered logs and runny noses. So, today we're going to start the foundation. So we have to start with this middle one. This one's lower than all of the others. So this beam right here actually goes from that corner to that post here, and sets on top. So first thing we have to do is set this. This concrete here was a little low, so I have a block here that's going to raise it to the right level. That side over there is still high. So I'm gonna find the level spot here, cut that post to the right level, set it down. I have some long lag screws that are gonna go just in these base pieces um, to kind of keep everything intact and square and on top of the posts. And we're gonna go from there. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly close. Very, very close. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, right? Not at all. Like it's an inch, if that. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. That's close. Um, let me go get a pen. Get on. All right. Now for the part I'm a little worried about. Let's find out. Okay. So here's what's happening. That is just a touch. I actually really like this Makita. It can saw a normal, typical 4x4. The problem is, these are actual 4 inch measurements. And a typical 4x4 is 3 and 3, three and 3 quarter inches or whatever that is. But because I'm actually uh, measuring to actual size, 
they come just a touch short, so I still have to use a handsaw to, to finish it off. There we go. So I'm measuring for this stake right here. So from the other corner, this is 12 and five inches right to the center at the base. So I have to measure over three inches because from outside wall to outside wall is 12 foot eight inches. So that's gonna be the center of the post there. And from here to that corner, I need the measurements to be, I need the measurement to be 10 foot eight. Uh, and very similarly, it was three inches off there as well. Let me think about that one really quick. Eight. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So now I'm gonna square it up. This is where the rebar sat on that side. This was dead center of the rebar, so I need to aim right there to try and get it to fit just right. Let's see how this works. Before I drill this, I want to take one more measurement of all this, just to make sure. What I do with that tape measure? You I'm lost it. Losing stuff. Probably put it over there on top of the generator or something. So I keep on losing pens <laughs> and tools and everything else. Put it down, I can't ever remember where I put it down. And it's it's not very obvious. It's it's a lot of small small shrubs and rocks, and they're most of my tools seem to blend in, even if they're bright yellow. Lost my tape measure for a good five minutes until I figured out I'd put it underneath my saw. And then I lost my pen, which I thought I'd put down on a rock and it was gray. Figured I was never gonna find it, so we got him a green one. Then Hiram found it over on the on table. table. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if we can get this to work. So I marked it incorrectly last time. I was looking at it. It's like that doesn't seem right. So I remeasured, I just measured three inches from the wrong side. So we'll see uh, what I can do, if I can actually mark this right. I'll check it a couple more times just to make sure. Hiram, can you grab that other end? Okay, I'll do it. Here we go. So I just pull it up like this, Dad? Yep, just like that. So, so it's five inches, go so three inches from the far side. So three inches. And then that. Okay, great. Now that makes some sort of sense. One of the hardest spots, hardest things to do is measure this angle because as much as I love this rebar here to be perfectly plumb, it's not. So now I have to uh, try and measure exact angles to, to drill at. Best way to do that is to line it up. Yeah, you can let go. Like that. So this is what I'm trying to get to, to measure up to. Just draw both sides. So as you drill from the other side, you try and line up your drill bit to hit this angle. Now, it is decently plumbed the other direction. But that's the next piece I need to figure out. So, one sec here. Out of curiosity, what do you mean when you say decently plumb? Plumb is 
level up in this direction, while level is this direction. So plumb is that uh, vertical. vertical levelness. So, okay, so I have this mark here. So I'm gonna put that right up against there. So it marks up. So that is my center line. I'll be trying to hit on the drill from this side. Yeah. All right, let's see how this works. All right, let's see that. <laughs> 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 Nothing screwed in yet, so we'll see. At least you're not making major mistakes. Well, I don't yet. Know. I gotta burn this side here. Um, this is going directly on concrete and rock, which means it's susceptible to rot. And if I don't burn this end, uh, this will rot out, this corner will. So that's the next thing to do. lined up. Now I just need a little bit of persuasion. It looks slightly crooked. It might be slightly, but I can pull it to this beam as it goes across. as I might like. I think that still needs to go down further. It's pretty close, really close actually. It's between the lines, is it perfect? No, but I think it'll do.
that's the furthest it will go. And how is do it I do? Now plum? <laughs> it is plum. Sweetness. High five. Quite a bit higher. This is interesting. So this is quite a bit higher here. So I'm going to have to fix this, but I can't. Uh, I may just have to take my planer and plane this down. But this here is a lot less important than how level this is with the beam on the other side. So we'll figure it out. But there's going to be a lot of planing going on at some point. I need to explain this a little bit. I actually put this post in the wrong direction. It needed to be rotated 90 degrees so that I had a, a two inch lip on this side for this beam to go across. Well, I don't have that. So I got to create a lip here and I have to notch out a section here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my planer and I'm going to plane a section to get at least a half inch, half inch to three quarter inch across here, straight across that I can slide my other beam in so it can sit on top of this at least a little bit. And then of course I'm going to tie it all together with uh, those lag bolts that I've been using. and uh, fancy chisel. Chisel.
our levels are. That seems really high. You can see middle. All right, let's see if I can do a quick walk around. So we got it all the main beams set up. These ones on the top aren't staying there. I actually am going to cut notches on the inside of both the beams and slide them down in. So I'm going to cut a notch out of about an inch deep and six inches, uh, I guess an inch this way and six inches down so that uh, I can just slide them in on both sides. I still have one left I need to cut. Um, but yeah, everything's level, ready to go. Put screws, a couple screws on each one just to hold it in and it is not going anywhere. So you'll notice that these ones out here are pretty long. Um, they're actually longer than they're supposed to be. There's gonna be a six foot deck off the end here. So these are the supports. And you kinda can see, see if you can see that uh, rebar in the rock down there. That's marking about where six feet comes. So I get to cut about two feet off this beam. I could have a bigger deck here, but the roof structure and everything I want to create um, can't go eight feet. It can only go six. But this entire side is going to have an eight foot, eight foot deck up here. And that's not going to be a covered deck. That's just going to be open while the front end there that already has the support structure. That is going to be a covered deck out the front there. But yeah, I'm happy with the progress we made and look forward to the next piece where I get to sink the uh, joists for the floor in. And you'll notice there's some of this wood was, <laughs> it was standing dead before the fires. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of rot here. Luckily, I do have probably a good foot that I can cut off of this one um, just before I slide it in. So we should have pretty clear wood and nothing is really funky. It's, it's solid minus that, that piece. So I'll get to cut that piece off and, and keep moving forward.